Yeah, my main intention doing men's work is I've been doing this sexual healing work for women for many years. So I've, I've been a practitioner of uh, womb dearmoring and sexual integration and trauma healing and all that. And I had, I don't know, a few thousand sessions with women over the years. And uh, some people called me secretly the womb whisperer. <laughs> I have some magic in my hands. And um, so I've been working with women over the, uh, I don't know, the last 15 years. And my work has been changing instead of doing that to women into how to teach men um, to be in physical proximity and using their hands and using their body and using their emotions and using their power from a place of integrity and um, um, alignment. And I've just been, uh, as I said, at Sexability a few days back. And there was a, a certain amount of men in this field who felt to me completely lost. You know, they don't know how to engage. They don't know how to be sensual, to be sexual. They don't know how to be in fluidity with their emotions. And, um, and I've been teaching a little bit kind of to let men to find into their sovereignty and autonomy when it comes to connection and when it comes to being real and authentic. That I see again and again is that men starting to apologize being a man because there's so much shit in the world that we as men, we are responsible for the misconduct of the patriarchy. We have destroyed the world. We are responsible for all the abused um, women and we are f doing wars and all that kind of bullshit. What is what is true to a degree, but you know, we, we don't have to put that individual on us as men and running through the world being guilty having a cock. And, uh, and I think there is a, a level of um, uh, possibilities to clean that up. Man's work is one of the most important, precious thing to contribute to the world in my life, specifically in the, that age I'm in.